this my lens needs to be clean though but that will be after this video i kept looking at myself because pardon that good evening from oka number state of nigeria welcome back to my channel fam i just want to say a very big thank you to all of you for the love since after my pregnancy announcement guys the love has been massive if all the pampering you guys are giving me now like come to my dm any minute today calls whatsapp i can't love you guys less thank you so much i give god the glory this year a lot has happened to me to my family but we kept pushing and going and i thank god i've shared my own part of the testimony this year because i'm having this baby this year, yes more news are coming uh. <laughs> more news are coming but i said let me pause first and give you guys this update <sighs> so that when the extra news comes you will not be confused okay yes so with the title of this video today you should already know i want to share with you guys how i got pregnant what i did to get this baby that is inside here <laughs> so if you want to hear everything that happened trust me to be open and uh, trust to learn one or two okay keep watching and i'll be right back Come back. Ignore how we chewing gum. Oh, mm, my hormones is at work. I have the right to take his keys now. Anyhow, I want to. Hey, pardon that. So, how did Lily Pope get pregnant after five years of waiting? In fact, my daughter is gonna turn exactly six this July, so I should even say six years of waiting but let's say five years of waiting what did i do guys very simple i didn't do much but i did something okay this pregnancy is a result of ivf yeah I am here to proudly announce to you guys that I finally broke the barrier of infertility, the barrier of trying to conceive, constant failure, disappointment with an IVF treatment. And I'm super grateful. My family, are myself and husband, we are super grateful with this. I'm not here only just to tell you guys how I got pregnant. But I'm here to liberate a lot of women. If you're a TTC mom, you must watch this video till the end because your testimony will come out from this video, yes. So, backstory. <laughs> if you've been an OG in my channel, okay, because of the new members, because we are growing. Uh -huh. For the purpose of those people, maybe they might have not watched other of my videos. This is my second IVF. I have done two IUIs before abroad then I did my first IVF here in Nigeria but it failed then this is my second IVF trial and guys with this I got success just with one try I know what I what I mean by one try don't worry I'm coming to that I'm not gonna tell you how I found out about the hospital so that this video will not be too long but I'm just going to share the story of how God used Dr. Charles. I'm, I'm going to mention his name. Yes, he's a saint. I call him my, my, my pure spirit. Yes, he used Dr. Charles to wipe away my tears and the tears of many, many, like when I say many other women. This hospital is a hospital to be visited. Whether you want to do IVF or IUI or fibroid operation, 
any type of oppression as long as it has anything to do with woman this hospital is a must visit and i bet you if you get in contact with this hospital eh you're not going to live the same way yes so hmm, after my failed ivf guys I said I was not going to do that again. After all, I have done it. If God had wanted it to happen, he could have used that singular first opportunity to make it happen. Maybe IVF is not for me. I just ruled it out from myself. But sometime this year, sometime uh, ending of last year, I changed my mind. That ending of last year through my sister, my twin sister, Mrs. Che. We shout out to you. If you're watching this video you have been a saint you have always created an impact in my life there is no stage in my life that she is never involved with thank you so much mommy through her I was able to get this doctor the day I called this doctor for uh, what do they call it convert hmm? I'm forgetting a lot these days I call for consultation the day I called the doctor for consultation, after I told him my history, everything, how I've been getting pregnant without complaints, what happened and everything, and how I've gone for the other one, and he just asked me some questions that I answered, and he told me that he's giving me 99% assurance that he's going to work with him, that I should give him a trial. Immediately he said that, for me to get a doctor to tell me that he's giving me 99 percent assurance guys <laughs> i don't need any soothsayer to tell me that this man knows what he's doing because abroad ivf is strictly 30 percent assurance but nigeria here let me just say 25 but they will still tell you 30 but let's just say just 50 50 but a man told me of 99 percent assurance after i shared my history okay everything about me as long as you don't have any problem you don't have issue even if you have problem anyway i'm coming to that so i told him okay i booked an appointment i went to the hospital i called him in on him he just told me to go straight and pay for consultation fee pay for my test to just reconfirm everything i told him that he will still run test that is how every other hospital does if you're here in nigeria once you go even if you bring your own result they would like to do their own to be sure so i paid for the test that day that day he ran test and everything came out good he just told me that if i have half of the payments i can pay in and in two weeks time i'll carry my baby that's in the name green green and like carry my baby i just told my husband that I didn't pay my husband was like how will you come to hospital today today and you're paying over one million naira i said then i'm paid he paid so he did a mock for me there is something they call mock with ivf which is checking the road checking the road to taking your babies okay that is mock he did a mock and the road was successful then he placed me on treatment because you're gonna be treated of course you know then i was coming back to check up he was just following me up now enough of my own let me tell you why you need to locate this man and let me tell you why this video is a liberation to everybody I have done IVF before. I've done a story about it. My first IVF experience. First thing first, I didn't meet my doctor, the man that is doing the IVF. I didn't meet him, the owner of the hospital. I didn't meet him only on the day of transfer because he is the only one that does transfer. Where I did the former one, though, I was working with the nurses. Sometimes I go in with the gynees, okay? I have never had a one-on-one -on -one talk with that doctor except the day of my transfer that he just read out all my informations to ask me to confirm that it was me and my babies for him to be able to transfer them guys but with dr charles even with his busy shadows like we are millions of we plenty for their women yeah but he know they look for patients yes yeah, so so that you not think that it is one kind hospital this man has three hospitals 
yes so in just that state then another state he has other hospitals above will be very mad mm -hmm. but this man is a man that will sit even with his busy schedules sit with you he listen and hear your story then he will follow you up personally the day the first day i came there we, we were up to 50 if i'm not lying but their customer service is 100 over 100 everything is done accordingly like no complaints the nurses like i don't have any complaint with that hospital so that is number one thing working with your doctor if you must do an ivf you have to have a good spirit with your doctor that is number one number two they have to work with your body the first place i did my ivf <laughs> they grouped us together like <clears throat> if you come now they will tell you that they have grouped for people of february now they will not group you into march then you will go and wait for your cycle if your cycle comes two days below they will still group all of you together some people will see their period today some will see tomorrow some will see next tomorrow some will see in five days and we are all in one group they will be treating us then when you respond and it's no day for transfer they will be giving you something to hold your body until the day of the transfer before the doctor will come because it's the doctor that does the transfer to everybody so everybody must be together and he will do the transfer it was wrong if only I knew what I knew that time I could have kicked against it but I didn't know nothing so they were grouping us but with this my doctor I will be saying my doctor <laughs> He works personally with you. If your body kicks today and responds today, he's treating you today. He's collecting eggs or treating sperm or doing whatever or mixing baby or transferring it. He is working personally with your body because bodies are different. There are some people that will drink the medicine three weeks. Nothing is happening, okay? But there are some people in, in one week the eggs are big everything is ready so everybody has different different ways they respond so with this doctor he will follow you up personally and with this way there's no way you will fail that is one, another thing that i know that is making him successful number two can google now number three thing is that this doctor doesn't give anything below grade a of embryo not at all or they me, me if after everything they mix and your eggs comes out b c d he will cancel that cycle for you and they will start all over again start stimulating you again getting your body ready again let me now shock you <laughs> and even in this consolation you're not paying anything again did <laughs> i know you didn't hear me let me repeat myself even in this cancellation, you're not going to pay Shimbai again. They can cancel people up to three times. Because sometimes you might have issues with your husband's palm. Maybe your body is ready. And then when they mix the, the, the things, and then maybe the sperm is functioning higher than the eggs, and it will contact, infect the babies will contact infection, you know. If there is any story that comes with it, eh? be sure to be cancelled and you will start again and you're not paying dime that's another thing in my own case i was once cancelled did i cancel the only thing that made my cancellation was that i only had one baby one embryo that was a grade i think the other ones were poor and he said he wouldn't want to give me one baby that he will cancel me and i had already gotten my mind ready you understand for congratulations I was crying you know, literally and I had a travel to make a lot of things like he just told me to calm down if all those things were much important than my babies I thought about it and I said no pregnancy should be my number one priority and I said okay no problem we can go back again then he freezed that grade A and we started all over again and in this second one I was able to get five MPUs, a grade like yes 
So I didn't pay extra money. He cancelled me once, but I've known my mates that they cancel three times, four times without paying anything, still on your payment, and they will still be running you on. Like if you know the medicine that they use for stimulate, all these things very expensive. This man will repeat, give you those things until your body is until he sees what he wants. And another thing, he allows us to interact with each other. The other hospital, I didn't know anybody. We were up to 66 in my group. Like there's this pain I used to feel in my navel. They said it's normal. We were up to 66 in my group, but I didn't meet anybody for one day. Ifukeshi is Zogari, and this is an international hospital. It's big, they have millions of rooms. So if you come, any day you come for appointment, they will give you one room. You will just go there, AC is there, fan is there. You will be there chilling, watching TV. When is your turn, you enter, they will do your thing, they will discharge you, you will go. I didn't meet any of us. The door of my transfer, once you go in, the other person that is changing to enter the theater, you will just say hi, hi, sharp, sharp, they have taken the person away. Like the way they were dodging us so that we will not interact with each other. But in this hospital, he has a guest house. My doctor has a guest house where all the women stays, including pregnant women and us. Maybe if you're from a far place, because mostly his patients are from diasporas, from abroad, mostly. So when they come to Nigeria, they will just be in his guest house. And that guest house has nurses, has doctors. He also comes there. Mm -hmm. Like if they're stimulating you, if they're doing any insert or injection or anything, if you're in that guest house, the nurses are to be attending to you. You're not the one to give yourself the shots, you know. Free you, hey, you will just, you will not pay the nurse. You will just pay for your room, very affordable, and they have most delicious food for you. I didn't have any complaint, guys. Don't mind. When you know how to cook very well, you cannot eat rubbish. But you can imagine food that I was enjoying. Ah, you will be free to interact with everybody they will share their stories with you you will learn from people because there is not no secret to hide that is how good this man is then again let's talk about the money because i know a lot of you now will be saying this hospital that is this good this hospital that is this that that, that the money will be shocker with my first hospital, I'm not gonna lie. I paid for they have three days of preparation of the embryos, okay? That one is 1.3 million. Then they have five days. That five days is 1.8 million with where I did before. So I paid for that five days. And that 1.8 million was just for transfer. Hmm? You will not pay for your test though. You will not pay for your card though. You will now pay for what other things? There were things like total money I spent in that hospital was 2.2 .2 million naira. And it was for one cycle. Like once you fail, bye. No cancelling. No free cancelling for you not to fall into depression. Other or there. Now let me shock you with my doctor. <laughs> He's own is 1.5 for me i paid 1.5 do you know why it was like he was about to do increment before i came so somebody just gave me signal i said i should pay now and they're doing increments first of the the other month so i paid 1.5 currently now i think it's 1.8 or 1.9 for your cycle and this money you're paying is for two cycle bagam that is the difference this money you're paying is for two cycle what did i mean by two cycle can this video is going to be too long but relax you're not going to regret anything two cycle i mean is that if for example they transfer your baby successful and then after two weeks 14 days of waiting excuse me you come back negative don't worry he got you he's going to place you on another treatment and they will still put baby for you to cycle for that amount 
Konaka. Is somebody clapping here? Unkuyen akwa keba. Kowaka. But in my case, my one cycle happened. In fact, when we the two cycle, it made the icon to suffer. But if, like the first day I came there, and they told me that if you pay that 1.5, it is what well, it was for two cycle. I knew I was gonna carry my baby in that hospital. There is no way I will pray and pray and pray. First cycle will not happen, and I'll pray and pray. Second cycle will not happen. It's not possible. So I knew that this opportunity is just giving us hope. This man is a man that loves testimony. He's not in for your money. This man is not in for your money. So the money you're going to pay will be for two cycles. If the first cycle fails, then you'll go for another cycle. In fact, when I was interacting with my friend, let me give you another news. Like there is a way you will even feel emotional and he will even give you three cycles but these are for people who have issues i have never seen anybody that have issue even just failed even one cycle if you don't have issue what do i mean like having issue in my case now i don't have fibroid i don't have uh, closed them tubes I don't have issues with my eggs or my body. I don't have endometriosis issues because endometriosis is, is very important when it comes to IVF. That is where the babies are going to lay and that is where they're going to dip in, which is what they call implantation. So it's very, very necessary. But with this man, he treats women. Like if you have fibroid, he's going to put you first on your fibroid treatment, treat you after your fibroid, wait for your recovery, then come back and test you again and see how good you are then he will try those people that usually be operated are um, mostly those people that goes for second round for us that don't have issues we usually usually don't go for second round and even those people that have issues not that they always go for second round their uh hair -huh, not that i've known of this woman who did fibroid and tube operation and she got pregnant with her first cycle okay so but i'm just saying that if you're battling infertility with no like unknown cause for me my infertility was not for any reason even hormonal imbalancing where um, i did not just know what happened <laughs> maybe with him with his special hands and special follow-up he was able to work once for me in he, with him and everybody in my group we were five persons that was transferred and the day of confirmation we all got pregnant okay i think one person was negative four of us was pregnant if this man transfers eight persons in a day nine person eight persons will be pregnant or seven person or six person you can never catch him transfer and there is no plenty positive with my former hospital we were 60 something but i think a lot of people dropped so we were up to 20 something that was transferred that day the day i came back for the day i came i went to the off to the office that i was discharged i needed somebody to talk to i was able to curiously meet up to five persons that day and i asked just one person told me that she was pregnant and that person was for surrogate yeah she told me that she was pregnant the rest of us were negative like but dr charles is this man that will transfer even if he transfers 20 person 18 person is going to be pregnant that is how successful he is with this ivf i don't know if it is magic economy but this man is miraculously doing wonders god is using him let's just put it this way then again, <clears throat> but I never finish. Another thing I noticed with him is that he pays attention after transfer. With my first hospital, immediately after transfer, they wheeled me out to my room and then wheeled me to the bed. I didn't come down. I didn't like trek. Then they asked me to lie down there for two hours. Then I can get up and go. 
so I laid for like three hours I got up and I went home and they told me to go back normal to everything I'm doing and then da 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 remove my mind live a normal life okay but with Dr. Charles the day of my transfer after the transfer they wheeled me back to my ward and then they put a catheter catheter kind of where that thing that will not allow you to go urinate in the toilet like that you'll be urinating on the bed okay and it will be entering that sack they put in that thing and then they raised the leg of my bed for good two hours my legs were high I didn't bring down my legs until exactly two hours the nurse came brought down my leg and took away the catheter Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a doctor, please. No vest. Please, so, no verse. and then you are not allowed to go home. You're going to be in his guard. Not him in particular, but you're now going to move to his guest house if you wish, where they have nurses who will be giving you injections, who will be inserting for you, who, if you started spotting they will come and take blood and check you or give you something to hold the spotting like they will be at attention with you or if you want to stay inside the hospital gong 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 you will stay there where there are still nurses who will be watching you have an egg injection everything they knows your time even the one you take in the midnight you'll be sleeping they'll be the one to wake up and come and give you all these things you're not paying extra. Here now the panega here for guys. Ah, so like. So he's not gonna allow you go. You're gonna be with him until that two weeks, which is 14 days of confirmation. Then you will come back to the clinic if you were at the guest house waiting. You come back to the clinic where they will test you and tell you your congratulations. That day, that day, each other you're ready to go, and then you'll be coming back. Yeah. For other things one that's another thing with all of my experience <laughs> i didn't get this much attention i didn't get this much love i didn't like everything this man does he does intentionally there is intentionality with what he's doing and this is why he's getting a lot of results and his spirit is like the first that i went into that the first that i got in into the hospital it was it just compound like a bungalow i was like hmm this is not. but the previous place i did was international like where you will use a lift to go up uh -huh. but i was like eh? hmm? would this place worth it but once i stepped into that hospital the interior was everything and the spirits just rhymed both with the nurses everybody i saw there no need of telling too much stories so in conclusion there are still a lot to say but let me end it until you go for your just go even if you want to do fibroid operation this man is 100 over 100 any type of operation you're about to do in fact there's this one they even cause scratching like if your endometriosis is not doing well he will just scratch it you're not paying extra he will just scratch it for you can't cut the back because it will be as if I'm telling stories now i'm not gonna say the hospital here in case if you're interested please reach me down my ig i'm gonna leave my ig name here and it's always in my description dm me okay i'm gonna be taking some charges yes for this information because there are still personal things that i will share if you're interested you know that mm -hmm. so i'm gonna pay a little token a little token uh -huh. for that and i'm gonna hook you up with this amazing hospital and trust me your problem is solved once you're hooked go and sleep go and number. so i'm gonna be ending this video here because it is too long now please pardon that but i needed to get you guys to <sighs> hear me and before i end this video i would love to say a very big thank you to every single soul that is working with dr charles i was moved now to mention the name but i'll not mention the name all the nurses must love it the manager metron our baby metron 
the secretary, <laughs> my one and only lover, 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 lover. <laughs> I had a particular one-on-one -on -one with him the day I went for surgery. My my lover, lover that I promised her. I, I, I promised her her uh, bone strength. My one and only lover, lover. Eh? My own personal doctor. Eh he, ah he, eh he. <laughs> oh God. Dr. Charles, thank you so much for allowing God to use you to put smiles on people's faces. Thank you to every workers in your hospital. You all are doing amazing. The Lord will bless you all for these blessings that you're sharing to families. <sighs> the Lord will always bless you. And thank God. Yeah, is it no? Not say Bere. I can't remember all their names. I just want to say very big thank you to all of you. Continue doing this that God is using you people to do, and I pray that the Lord will always be with you guys, strengthen you, protect you. Not any evil will ever befall any of you guys. More good health to be able to treat and work on us, and more more knowledge in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all from the depth of my heart. Kisses to all of you. Kisses. 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 Because I think the junior doctor watches me. One of the nurses watches me here. So I had to put out this here. Even if they doesn't watch me, I just need to say this here. So thank you so much for watching. DM me right away and we'll get to your need okay i'm now a nurse <laughs> and i'll see you again in my another video i'm still your babe lily poops tv and i sign off bye